Hello, welcome to Board with Paint. Today we'll be continuing our series on how to paint hero quests with the orcs. In order to get this done as quickly as possible, I'm going to employ the slap chop technique. This is a method of painting that's gained some traction in the community over the last year or so and can produce some really nice results even though you do mainly one coat of paint. We're starting off here not so differently from normal with a zenithal prime. This means you cover the entire miniature in black primer, then go back in spraying gray from above in the front and sides, and then come in and spray white from the top. This will give you a pre-shaded undercoat that will complement the speed paints we're going to be using for the most part. The first step in the slap chop technique is to apply a white dry brush over the entire miniature. I'm just using a cheap makeup brush for this. Doing the dry brush first will give us an edge highlight that will show through once we apply the speed paint. In this video, I'll not only be painting the orcs from the base game, I'm also including the orcs from the Keller's Keep expansion and the additional models that shipped with the Mythic tier. You'll see me moving across many different models, but the same techniques are applied to each one. Here you can see how all the edges are picking up that dry brush. Moving on to the next orc, we'll do the same thing, and repeat ad nauseum. I'll be using the Army Painter Speed Paint system for most of this video, but you should be able to achieve the same effect with either Citadel Contrast Paints or Vallejo Express Colors. We'll start off by painting the skin using the aptly named Orc Skin. I feel like they should have called this Incredible Hulk Skin because it is a very, very highly saturated green. When applying these single coat speed paints, you want to try to be careful to stay within the region that you're trying to paint. Sometimes subsequent coats of different speed paint colors have trouble covering existing layers. The speed paint formulation is designed so that you only need one coat of paint and you don't need to do additional shading and layering to bring out highlights. This paint will automatically pull into the recesses and darken them while staying partially transparent on the raised surfaces and allowing the dry brushing and zenithal highlighting that we did earlier to show through. There's the skin completed on this orc. I'll show the same process for some of the other miniatures, but I'll speed it up. To give the miniatures some variation, I decided to paint about half of the orcs with a different skin color. For this I'm using Geely Dew. This has much more yellow in it and I think it ends up matching the game artwork a bit better. Next we'll paint the loincloths. 
using a few different colors. For the first group of works, I'm using Noble Skin. And then for some of them, I'm using Brownish Decay. Followed by doing a few with Dusk Red. and finishing the rest with ruddy fur. The armor has kind of a dark bluish tinge to it, so I'm going to mix some broadsword silver. Broadsword. What was that? Broadsword. Okay, kid, if you say so. I'll mix some broadsword silver with Payne's Gray ink from Dalarani. This ends up thinning the paint down quite a bit, so I'm wicking off excess moisture on a paper towel before touching it to the miniature. This helps me keep good control over it. I'll be covering all of the armor pieces with this color. Game artwork gives the orcs pupilless eyes, which is actually a little bit easier to paint. So I'm filling those in with Lilith Yellow from Scale Color. Note this is not one of the speed paints, this is just regular paint. The speed paint we applied should have pulled into the recess of the eye, leaving a nice dark area. When you're painting in the eyes, try to leave a bit of a dark outline around the yellow. This really helps make them stick out. I'll go ahead and show you the painting of the eyes on various miniatures.
The male orcs have a chain that's connecting over their shoulder between the rear and front pieces of armor. I'm painting this with Talos bronze speed paint. For the orcs with hair, which is primarily the females, I'm using grim black speed paint. I'm using hardened leather to paint all of the leather areas, which for the most part is just the belts. Next I'm going through and painting all of the teeth with bone white from Vallejo model color. We want this to go on opaque so we're not using speed paint for the teeth.
For the gold emblems on the armor, I'm using Hoplite Gold. Now we'll move on to the weapons. I've decided to paint the handles of all the weapons with dusk red. For the darker metal areas of the weapons, I'm using Broadsword Silver again, mixed with Payne's Gray. For the axe-wielding orcs, we'll want to keep this near the center of the blade. We'll use a lighter metallic for the sharper bits. For the swords, I'm painting the bottom of the pommel with this, as well as the hand guard and the central part of the blade that goes up its entire length. For the large maces being wielded by the female orcs, I'm painting the end of the handle and the entire business end of the weapon. The female orcs with swords are getting their swords painted exactly the same way as the males. For the hammer-wielding orcs that came with the mythic tier, I'm doing the end of the handle and the middle part of the head of the weapon. While that dries, we'll move back to the teeth and apply a wash of Seraphim Sepia. This will yellow the teeth a little bit more and bring out some of the recessed details. Back to the weapons, for the lighter metal, I'm using Gunmetal by Vallejo Game Color. This will basically cover all the parts of the weapon that we didn't paint with Broadsword Silver and Payne's Gray ink, with the exception of the golden triangle that's on some of the weapons. Shout out to Pittsburgh. I'm actually not using this to paint the smashy bits of the hammer. 
I want those to look like stone, but I am using this to color in the rivets on the hammer. Back to those golden triangles, I'm painting those with hoplite gold. There's a triangle on the hammer, the axe, and the swords. However, the maces don't have anything that will get gold. Next, I'm adding a little bit of Agrax Earthshade to the teeth to try to bring out the definition a little bit more. However, the sculpt between the teeth wasn't deep enough to really accept the wash, so this really had a limited effect. While I had this out, I applied it over the bronze chain on the male orcs. To give the heads of the hammer a stone look, I'm covering it with Gravelord Gray speed paint. I had mentioned that the teeth weren't sculpted deep enough to get good definition using shades, so I've decided to mix some black and brown ink together and manually draw in the teeth. You can probably consider this an optional step because the details are very small, but keep in mind if you make a mistake and make one of the lines too thick, it'll just look like your orc is missing a tooth, which I think is perfectly alright. I'm not really following the sculpt here, I'm just adding in the lines where I think they need to be, and then I'm also drawing an outline around the light part of the teeth to both add contrast and give some definition to the edges of the lips. I apologize that some of this is hard to see. I think I've reached the maximum capabilities of my camera zooming in. But if you support the channel, say by liking the video and subscribing, maybe I'll be able to afford a new camera. The contrast effect on the broadsword silver is a little bit less pronounced than the rest of the speed paints. So to bring out the edges a little more, I'm going to do a dry brush of iron breaker across all of the metal areas of armor. And I'll also do this on the metal parts of the weapons. Since we're nearing the end, I'm going to paint all the bases using Wah! flesh. I hope I pronounced that right. Bruce. Okay, shut up. Next, I decided to paint the toenails and fingernails by mixing some Lilith yellow into the orc skin for the orcs that I painted using orc skin.
Then for the orcs that have Geely Dew as a skin color, I mixed in some Bone White. We could definitely call these miniatures done here, but if you look at the card artwork, the orc has some red war paint on his body. Since it's applied haphazardly, and the shapes are somewhat abstract, I don't think it'll be too hard to approximate this. So I'm going to thin down some slaughter red with some of the speed paint medium. This will both make the paint somewhat transparent, and we'll get it to flow a little bit more nicely. And then I'm just going to approximate what I see on the artwork, at least on this orc. This was actually pretty easy and pretty fun, so I decided to kind of go crazy and just add different designs to a bunch of different orcs. I didn't add war paint to all of them, but maybe about half. For the most part, I'm just making random shapes and lines on the skin. Here I'm trying to give the impression of a skull on the side of his arm. Thankfully, I imagine these orcs have about as much artistic ability as I do, so I'm not really worried about messing anything up. For this orc, I imagine her wanting to paint a skull over her face to scare her enemies. So I'm basically just painting a red outline around her face, leaving some of the green peeking through here and there. I basically continued this for a bunch of the orcs until I eventually got tired of painting them. Then I just called it done. For the final glamour shots, I'll show you each orc I painted. All in all, I'm pretty happy with the way these turned out, especially since I spent way less time painting them as I would for a normal miniature. Let me know down in the comments if you like the slap chop technique and if you'd like to see me try it on some more HeroQuest miniatures. We'll wrap this up by showing you some shots of groups of works together. If you made it this far and you'd like me to continue doing videos like this, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, leave a comment. You've watched enough YouTube to know the drill. Thanks so much for watching Board with Paint. Until next time, I wish you all happy Bro, so 